So I was out here putting some time in at the range today and I had a thought go through my head that I wanted to share with everybody because I'm getting really concerned about this real possibility. And that's the fact that if these SHTF scenarios that keep happening, these crises keep stacking up on each other and they take as long as they've been taking for more and more time, well, it's gonna be harder for you and I to survive that eventual full-blown SHTF scenario that we prepare for. Understand that while these things happen, and I'm sure you're feeling the same way as I am right now, we're just slowly getting grinded away at, right? When I go to the grocery store, every dollar I spend is just that much less I get in return. When I do anything right now, I get that much less in return. And imagine a year or two years from now and exactly what that return will look like at that point. So every single day, we are getting less and less for our effort and our energy. And at the point where people finally reach that rock bottom desperation where they lash out and create a real societal breakdown SHTF scenario, well, a lot of us will have already had to tap into our preps, tap into our rainy day funds, possibly even be starting over at zero by that point. And that really concerns me because as preppers, one of our biggest enemies is time. The thing we prepare for is to be able to outlast. We prepare to endure for a certain amount of time. And eventually that time runs out because we only have so much storage. We only have so many supplies. And if we don't have a way to create or produce when it comes to things like food or calories, or let's just say even fabricating different parts of equipment. I mean, who knows what it is, but if you can't produce, then you're only gonna be able to work with the things that you already have. And those things will eventually run out if you don't find yourself on the better side of an SHTF scenario at some point in time. And this train that's coming through right now and blasting me with its horn, well, honestly, it's kind of like a reminder for me every day that that SHTF train is on its way. We are on the tracks right now and we're heading to the next station. And I don't know exactly what that station is gonna be like, but I am concerned about the people who are gonna be there waiting for us. And look, I just know that the longer this takes, the harder it's going to be. So keep preparing as best you can. Do what you can now while we still have the ability to, but also be prepared for that eventuality that you might be out of everything that you prepared at this point in time. You might eventually run out of the preps that you're putting away right this second. These are things that can happen because everything's happening so slowly. And in many ways as preppers, you're almost better having an immediate calamitous scenario that can then be resolved more quickly rather than being slowly chipped away at for years and years until you finally have nothing left and that's when you're expected to survive the worst of it. So I want everyone to be mentally prepared for that possibility, and I want you to really think about that when you are prepping and understand that every single day you buy yourself, whether or not that's in food, water, backup power or energy, whatever it is that you can buy yourself in the sense of time, it's going to add up at the end when that final rock bottom stage hits. And even if that might be five years from now, yeah, we don't have five years worth of food or five years worth of water or five years worth of anything. At least we bought ourselves a little bit more time than a lot of other people around us. So I just wanted to share that with you because I'm getting concerned about it. It's starting to bother me in the sense of that being a real possibility because if these things don't pop off in a very negative way, a lot of times there's not a very quick resolution to them either. So things just take forever and in the meantime, you and I suffer. I wanted to share this with you because it's a thought I've been having and I think it's relevant to what's happening right now in the world. If you have things to add about what I was just talking about, leave them in the comments below. I think these conversations are good for us to have. It helps keep the community and our network kind of on the same page. And honestly, I just like hearing your all's thoughts about the direction we're heading because you might have a different idea than I do that can help me think a little bit more critically about it. So without anything else to say about the fact that time is our biggest enemy and I feel like it's gonna slowly erode us with this war of attrition, that's gonna be it for Magic Prepper.